this demonstration I'm going to show you how you can use the endpoints on a business object to perform batch operations that manipulate multiple records. Um, so again, you might want to watch the previous video I did about how to access the REST endpoints from outside um, Visual Builder. And we're going to access the staging um, run of my application and specifically we have this URL here that access the employees. Okay, so I'm going to show you, for example, um, how to do several batch updates on employees. Over here, I have currently the running staged application with the current data in it, and I'm going to use Postman to execute commands in batch. The section about batch is inside our documentation. If you go to the book that is called um, Accessing Your Business Object with REST APIs, under the advanced task, there's a section called Making Batch Request that shows you how to do it. So the first thing you need to know is that we are going to access the base URL. So the URL for our REST service here ends with the data. So we don't actually give the name of the specific business object we're working on. Second thing is that we are doing a POST operation. This is what you see here. And then the third thing is that you need this specific uh, content type, okay, with the batch and JSON. And if you're using Postman, this is what you would put over here in the content type. Of course, you probably need uh, to authorize yourself. Um, my authorization right now for the business object is set to allow basic authentication. So this is what I'm doing here. And then what you need to do is provide the actual actions that you want to perform. This comes in as an array of actions where you have this format here. So let me copy this specific action and we'll just add one more action over here. And we'll call this one, you need a unique ID, so this would be part two. And we're going to update employee number three and we're going to set his salary to 333. And employee number one, we'll set it to one, 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 okay? So that's the payload. Again, you have an ID, the path to what you're actually going to do. If you're doing an update, then you have here the ID of the record that you're updating. And then the payload where you want to have the ID of the fields and the values that you pass over. So just as an example, again, if we go back into our application, okay? Um, and if we're looking at the employee's business object in the fields, you can see the ID of the field is salary or lower case, and that's what you want to do. And over here, we also have the name. So if we want to update the name of an employee, we can also do that. So let's, for example, change Sean here to Shai. So to do that, again, in the same place, we can add another property name and set the value to, for example, Shai. And don't forget the comma. Okay, so now let's run those two commands in one go. We click send. And if everything goes according to plan, we're getting the response over here with the new values. The other way we can see it is if we do a refresh here, employee number one is the first one in the table. This is his salary, and employee number three is this one. And you can also see the name has changed for employee number one. Of course, so not limited to only update commands. You can also do the other card operations. So for example, if we take this command, and just update it here, do a paste, and we'll do a part three. And if we want to do an insert or a create operation, we don't need a specific ID. We have the create operation here, and we put in the values that we want to pass. So we can have, for example, the name of the employee, can be the new guy, okay, and a salary again, maybe 1,000. And again, you can update other salaries, for example, do this, do this, okay. So we're doing an update and two updates and a create in one operation. And we can also do a delete operation. So that would be part four of our message. We are again going to employees and let's delete employee 10. And we don't actually need a payload when we're doing a delete. All right, so now let's send all of those commands. 
if you get an error, just make sure that you can see what you done on. I forgot the comma here between those two properties. So let's do a send again. Okay, now it works. So we have removed the pre 10, which I believe is James, and we added a new guy. So let's do a refresh here. Yep, James is gone. The new guy is in place. Salary has been updated for those two. That's how you do um, other CRUD operations in batch.